Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardner. In today's video, uh, it's going to be a lot of tongue twister for me. Uh, I will be pronouncing a lot of names incorrect, so I'm going to apologize for that. Uh, now the first name, uh, basically this is the organization that creates uh, all these hybrids. Uh, so they have created an original hybrid. Uh, I will try to pronounce it because it's a Korean uh, uh, organization. Uh, it's called as Waga or Hawag. I'm not very sure. I'll put up the name on the screen. So you might happen to see if you purchase certain hybrid succulents, it will be written as um, Waga original or uh, Waga succulent. Uh, so this is uh, Echeveria Celio. Uh, this was one of the hybrid that was created by them. Uh, the parentage of this, again, I'll be mispronouncing the Echeveria name. It is called as Echeveria uh, tolimanensis and uh, the second parent is uh, Echeveria colorata. Now, uh, if you notice, I'm going to put up the image of uh, tolimanensis. You will see that the leaves are very narrow, but the second parent that is uh, the colorata they have a little bit more of broader leaves that's why this succulent uh, it does not have very broad leaves but they are uh, broad as compared to the other hybrid variety that we have over here i'll talk about it in a while so talking about this uh, as i said the parentage uh, you have uh, tolimanensis and uh, you have colorata uh, now because of both the succulents have a good amount of farina that's why it tends to get uh, these uh, lines in between just like champagne but it is not champagne and uh, the name is Echeveria because both of the parents are from the genus of Echeveria it is a rare hybrid maybe you might find it online but in local nurseries it's going to be a little difficult to find this variety because it's quite rare uh, and it is a little bit delicate uh, especially for people who are from a very high humid environment and if the temperatures are very high during the summers uh, this succulent might probably start having issues so this is one of the variety uh, this one is another uh, variety this is called as Echeveria aguides uh, psyche now um, this is not created by them uh, probably this is some other uh, person who has created this hybrid i'm not very sure uh, so this one uh, also has one of the parent as uh, Tolimanensis and other one is Aguides. We are not very sure which is the other Aguides that was used in making this beautiful hybrid called as Echeveria Aguides Psyche. Now you can see the leaf shape is exactly same uh, size or shape like Tolimanensis. You can see they are very narrow. Uh, they have not taken the leaf size from their second parent which is the Aguides. Aguides have a little bit more uh, broader leaves as compared to this one uh, so because this has a parent of aguides that's why it is called as echeveria aguides psyche or aguides psyche it's not called as only echeveria so as i said uh, aguides itself is a hybrid so as you can see uh, it has uh, the second parent which is already an hybrid this is another aguides i'm not very sure about the name uh, the colors have not set in only the tips are very red in color but slowly as you can see uh, they are starting to get colored. I'm not very sure if it's going to turn completely red in color or if it's going to only have some red freckles on the edges uh, just like our ebony. So we will have to check because as in when the winters will set in we will get to know about the colors and this was and this was the uh, baby uh, psyche as I said you can see there's a lot of difference between both of them. Uh, this is a pup and this is the uh, mother plant. Uh, there's a little bit of water because it has started to rain once again I have to blow off all of the water from the succulents there's a little bit of water I will be blowing it off after this video because it has started to rain and uh, when it starts to rain there is so much of wind that all of that water droplets tend to end up on my succulents I will uh, blow off all the excess water because it's not safe to let water stay on the uh, succulent crown area a lot of people tend to leave the water as it is uh, but it is risky i'm not saying that it will have an issue but it is quite risky either it can have a uh, crown rot either it can have some fungal uh, issues or uh, if there is a lot of sunlight uh, that portion can get burnt the crown area can get burnt if the water is left behind on the crown area i usually have this uh, succulent blower that i use 
flow blowing of the excess water so i will be doing that in some time after i finish up with this video so these were all of the uh, succulents all of these are hybrids so hybrids is something that i usually do not recommend to beginners if you are just starting off with succulents wait for some time get uh, the hardy varieties or regular varieties like your sedum adolfi uh, you can get hawarthias you can get echuaria chuidensis you have uh, graptopetalums graptopetalums are also quite hardy whether it's uh, uh, the uh, ghost plant or graptosedum ghosti these are all very hardy ones you can get those before getting into uh you know the hybrids because these are a little bit delicate uh, especially when they come into a new environment they are quite uh, delicate and fragile usually uh, the casualties do happen when the succulents come in and in the first week itself that's when the issues happen but over the period of time if you have a good experience if your environment is good uh, these are quite easy to grow succulents uh, but the initial stage just avoid these succulents probably can go with the easier ones so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating